Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Donna Lynn, and welcome to Celebrating Act Two, where it's short and sweet, where I teach you one exercise move and one nutritional tip so that you can stay healthy and strong. Now today, we're gonna work on one of the classic movements in the exercise world called the hinge. Now, how many times do you bend over to pick something up a day? Uh, Betcha it's a thousand times at least. And that's where people get injured too. So we're gonna do a bridge. Now there's a thousand ways to do it, but we're gonna keep it pretty basic. And we're gonna do this because it's a prehab, which means protective or preventative, and rehab, and you know what that means, all right? So let's get started. Oh, what I wanna tell you first though, is that this bridge works on keeping those glutes strong. Now we remember from before that we need strong glutes for a good back, works on those hamstrings, low back, and those abs, so you get a whole bunch for a little bit of work. Ready? Let's go. I'm going to just lay on my back, so you want to get down nice and easy like, okay? Now you can get down a couple different ways. You can hang on to your knees like so, round and rock and roll it back, or you can just roll over to the side and then lay down. Okay, so you pick that uh, way that you want to get down. Just watch your back. All right, now I want to put my knees in line with my hips and my ankles. All right, and my abs are engaged. My hands are down at the floor. Now I just want to tilt, give myself a pelvic tilt. That means push my belly button to the floor and my hips will lift on the bottom. Okay, they'll just tilt up and we keep the um, belly on the floor, okay? Now we're gonna push through the heels and that glutes all the way up. Now what you're looking for is a straight line from the knees to the shoulders. And when we're up here, we're gonna squeeze those glutes. Now make sure you're not pressing with the low back. We don't want that. We're trying to protect it, not hurt it. So we wanna squeeze with the glutes and then we just lay that back down on the floor until our hips reach and then relax. Okay, so we're gonna try that again. We're gonna do a pelvic tilt by pushing the belly button into the floor, pushing through the heels and those glutes, lifting it all the way up till we have that straight line and abs are engaged and then rolling back on our back and then our hips. Let's do two more just for good luck. Okay, pushing through the heels, up through the glutes, squeezing those glutes, and then rolling it back down and releasing those hips. Now you wanna make sure to keep those knees in alignment when you do that. Don't let them splay out when we're in this basic uh, bridge work, okay? And then roll it back down. Good job. Now I'm gonna get up the same way I got down. I can rock and roll it up or I can roll over and push up. All right, now you know today what our nutritional tip is about? Fermented foods, eating fermented foods. Now why would we wanna do that? Well, I want you to think of fermenting as transformation. So it transforms our food into a billion microorganisms and that in, in uh, return transforms in our gut to, a th to thousands of enzymes and microbes, and that gives us a huge diversity in our microbiome, which is really important. That's what we're always looking for. Now, what makes up fermented foods? Well, you're familiar with some of them. Kimchi, sauerkraut, pickles. <laughs> There's fermented vegetables, kefir, yogurt. There's a bunch of different things that you could eat for ferment fermented foods. Now, what happens is that all the good stuff they do, they uh, reduce that blood sugar. They protect against cancer. They're anti-inflammatory. They also clean up the residue from pesticides. They keep our insulin sensitive right where it needs to be. And they just do tons of things. And we're learning more and more about fermented foods. So make sure you get some of that on your plate today, okay? Now you know why I do this work. I do this so that you can stay healthy and strong, so that you look good, feel good, and move well. Now why don't you come visit me at Vigor and Trim. It's a new membership site for people over 50 where we give you a personalized workout experience 
experience. In the meantime, I'll see you next week on Short and Sweet. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.